Two different Chipotle orders, very different calories. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, helping you make smart nutritional choices that will help you live lean forever. Today, we're talking about Chipotle, one of everyone's favorite restaurants. Definitely one of me and Brad's favorites. It's like probably our go-to like fast food restaurant that's still healthy-ish, but it's nice and easy when you're in a pinch and you have no food prepared. So we like to go to Chipotle. I'm sure you like to go to Chipotle. And today I'm gonna to show you how two different orders from Chipotle can have severely different calorie and nutritional counts. Lately, I've been doing a lot of videos about macros and uh, you know figuring out your calorie needs and all that stuff. So we've talked a lot about why it's important to eat not too much, not too little, but just the right amount to fuel your body and get you the results that you want and really live lean instead of just getting skinnier. So we wanna make sure you guys are eating enough for your goals, but also not too much to lead to fat gain. So when you're ordering at Chipotle, don't you kinda wanna be informed on how many calories and the nutritional breakdown of your meal, I think you should because a more informed choice is a better choice. So I made two different orders at Chipotle online. I did an online order and I was able to use the nutritional calculator on their website that they provide to figure out exactly how many calories was in each of these meals. I think you guys are gonna be really shocked when you find out the huge differences because these meals, I feel like they look relatively similar. If you choose either one of these, you're gonna feel satiated and full, but one of them is a day's worth of calories and one of them is a normal meal size worth of calories. So let's take a look and I'll show you what's in these two meals. You know what actually I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have my husband Brad come in here and see if he can guess, because he's usually really a good guesser when it comes to nutritional values. So before I give away the answers on how many calories are in these two meals, let's see what Brad thinks. Babe, can you come here and check these out? Hey, boo. You call me? Yeah, will you come check out these meals, please? Can I bring Kyla? Yeah, you can bring Kai. Come on over, maybe baby Kai knows what's in these meals. What's up, everybody? Yeah. I'm gonna make put, put Brad on the spot right now. I haven't told him how many calories in there are in these meals, but like I said, he's pretty nutritionally aware and kind of knows the values of foods. And every time we play the guessing game, he's like spot on. Pretty nutritionally right? aware. You're pretty nutritionally I'm aware. Change my Instagram yeah. profile. To <laughs> pretty nutritionally, nutritionally aware. <laughs> so in plate number one, we went with a bowl instead of a burrito. And I'll just tell you what's inside here for okay. just so you can have some reference. We have um, white rice, there's black beans, there is um, steak, tomato salsa, and lettuce. And that's it, okay? No. So it's only like five ingredients. No, no guac. No, there's no, no guacamole, cheese, there's no, no cheese, no sour cream, yeah, exactly. No tortilla either. So what do you think? You said it was steak? Yeah, steak, yeah. I'm going to say... 550 calories. Okay, all right, good guess. All right, let, let us know in the comments down below if you agree with that guess or if you think it's gonna be different. Which is Kai guess. What does she think? I guess 29 million. <laughs> 29 million? <laughs> oh baby, you must be really on the game train. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now item number two. I guess I'm gonna have to unwrap this for you guys. Oh, um, I, so you can... I, I should be able to do bicep curls with this. Yeah, I know, is it heavy? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, this chips and guac, you guys, it goes together with this meal. So, cause sometimes people order a burrito and chips and guac on the side. So let's just, you know, play the scenario that this is what you ordered and you got Whoa. this big ish burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's so what pretty kind of burrito huge. Is it? Okay, so I'm gonna, ooh, guac is spilling out the side. So there's guac in here and guac on the side, remember that. Okay, so with this burrito, there is um, chorizo inside. So that's what the meat is. We have sour cream guac, um, I already said guac. There's cheese, there's um, there's no lettuce in this one, but it does have the fajita veggies beans and, and the rice. salsa. It has the pinto beans and the brown rice. Okay. Okay, so that's, so it's pretty much everything. You want me to guess just this or with the chips? The entire meal, I want you to guess that's, this entire meal. That's a lot of guac, so, so you guys can see like by my hand, that's quite a bit. Probably a half an avocado's worth, I'm right? I'm going what to you say, say, how many, um, yeah, total the calories. entire yeah total calories well, of this big burrito and that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Kyla says no. Kyla says three. 
Oh man, Kyla says you're way off. I'm way off? Yeah. Okay. Okay, just keep in mind lots of fats in there. Super high fat meal. We have cheese, sour cream, double guac. Wait a minute. Plus the chorizo. Oh. Okay. Well, guac in there plus guac there. Okay. I'm going to say $16.50. Okay, all right. Fair guess. He's still way off. Really? Yeah, I know. That's exactly the point of this video I wanted to do for you guys because I was playing around with, with uh, Chipotle's nutritional calculator and seeing like just how high can you get a burrito. So I got it as high as I could possibly get it. My mouth is watering. Let's wrap up this video. <laughs> I need to eat. Yeah, this food won't go to waste, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I am going to reveal all the macro calorie content of these two. But for now, I want you guys to go down below and guess how many calories is in meal A. How many calories is in meal to give you a sense like that's how many chips there are it's like yeah a handful it's a decent size of yeah. a side yeah i feel like these two meals are really common like normal meals it's like this one is not that hard to believe that someone could eat that all in one sitting and neither is this one this one doesn't look small yeah, by any means when i made my first guess i wasn't taking that into consideration i was just oh. taking this so okay that's why i said 1250 right. so i think that's probably what 500 calories each. Oh, you're gonna freak out when you find the truth. You're <laughs> okay, gonna well, freak tell us. out. Tell okay. us. You guys ready for this? Are you ready? I hope you're sitting down. Okay, yeah, let's start with the first one. Okay, this meal right here, the bowl with no added toppings that are high in fat. I said 29 million. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Kai. Daddy's you were, right. You were definitely off. Daddy's right. But so that just is it's an example for you guys of a meal that you can get at Chipotle that is a really decent amount of calories. It's gonna fit your macros. This, you know, just because you're eating at Chipotle doesn't mean you're blowing your diet. You can get a meal like this and really be staying on track. But what I would have done is I would have taken the kidney bean or the uh, beans Pinto. and the rice Bucking, and had sorry. it block. That's what I would have done. Yeah, you can completely customize your order. Just so you guys know, neither of these are what we normally order at Chipotle. Okay, what's this but one? Anyway, okay, so this one, we're talking the big giant ass burrito plus the side of chips and guac. The whole combo there. This thing again. Yeah, Maybe pour all those chips out. How big that is. Yeah. Okay, so that meal right there. I'm not making this up. You can go on their website and find out the nutritional info. If you add all those ingredients together, I'm gonna list them for you. Do you know how many burpees you'll it's have to crazy. do to burn that off? Well, you know, I just... 9,329. Oh, please. Are, is Kai making up numbers again? Okay. Um, what I really want to show you guys and really um, emphasize here is that that could be your full day's worth of calories right there in one meal. But if you ate that all in one sitting, chances are you're going to feel all lethargic, then you're going to go take a nap, and then you're going to wake up and want to eat again. So this is how, you know, your calories can really get out of hand really fast, and this is how you gain weight from making nutritional choices that you're just not even aware of. So I just wanted to open up your eyes and kind of make you realize that changing your order, like at a restaurant, same restaurant, different order, can be a completely different outcome. So if you're really serious about losing weight, about getting fit, about hitting your macros and your nutritional goals every day, then all you have to do is do a little research, be a little bit more aware of what you're putting on your plate, and you can absolutely still have the freedom to eat out and enjoy yeah, life. Mostly every single restaurant now has the nutrition Calorie info. and nutrition info, So yeah. if you're going out to eat, you're a little bit nervous, you're trying to stick to your macros, look on the website. You can figure it out in like five minutes what you should be eating. Seriously, um, Chipotle's is so easy, I did it on my phone. Okay, so just Google Chipotle nutritional info. Right, you can do it on your phone. So guys, it was a long journey. Do you think I finished? BAM! <laughs> you know I got them gains. Did you finish? Oh. I'm still working on it, you guys. Stop. So my final concluding thoughts, it's doable to eat that amount for me, um, but I think in another 20 minutes to an hour, I'm gonna be really feeling it. Because a lot of it's times when you sit down and you just keep eating and eating, you don't really feel that you're full, but then you hit a point where your stomach actually knows that you're full and you've overdone it. Mm, point taken. Open. Yeah, let me show Kai over here. Guys, look at this. So I, <laughs> I've i been feeding Kai while I feed myself at the same time, so that's why I'm eating a lot slower. But like seriously, this meal is a regular like size meal for me. Like I try to aim for around 500 calories per meal normally. So this is not a 
big meal for me, except I added the guac, which adds like another 300. So this could be like up to 800 calories total when you add that on there. So in that sense, it's kind of big, but still, I'm like struggling. So it just goes to show that the size of the meal does not always dictate the calories, because no. look at that, he finished that before me. It was a lot more calories. Now I'm on that water drip light. It was more dense. Flush all this salt out. Yeah. So I just hope this was really eye-opening for you guys and, and telling you something about nutrition that it, the looks can be deceiving and nutrition is not always what it looks like. So just be more aware of it's, things it just and, and be like Brad. <laughs> Uh-oh, Bruce gonna save you. <laughs> I finally finished my burrito bowl. Brad's over there like, ugh, the cows just hit me. Not a good idea. Those are foods he usually doesn't eat in right, a combo. The three foods I don't eat. Grains, dairy, and legumes. And that, oh. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? And it starts. It's already begun, the indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying that I sh what I should have done with his order is like just order double meat and double, uh, what else, guac, and like foods that he actually does eat instead of cheese, cream, and wheat because this is not going to be a good night for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something really valuable and that you'll take this information and work with it and just know that, you know, there's nothing that's off limits when you're living lean. It's just about making smarter choices, okay? When it comes to nutrition, be smart, don't be in the dark, learn what you need to learn and you got it, okay guys? It was, it was leg day for me today, so I'm <laughs> this, I'm making Brad eat the big big heifer there. I'm just gonna eat the regular nice so, meal. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is my show. Oh, no, I'm no, so no, excited. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Live Lean TV for women. This is also for men, as you can see, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode. Thank you. Mwah. Keep living lean. Keep living lean.